Do you ever dream of having complete control over your money? Imagine a life where you're not stressed about bills, you can afford the things you want, and you're prepared for any financial surprise. That's what financial freedom feels like. It's not just about being rich, it's about having peace of mind and the power to make choices without worrying about money. It's a dream many of us share, and the good news is, it's achievable. The key is finding a budgeting system that works for you, a system that simplifies your finances and puts you in the driver's seat. That's where the 70-20-10 budget rule comes in. It's a simple yet powerful tool that can change how you manage your money, leading you toward the financial freedom you desire. The 70-20-10 budget rule is like a magic formula for managing your money effectively. It's a simple concept. You divide your after-tax income into three categories, 70% for necessities, 20% for savings and debt repayment, and 10% for personal spending and leisure activities. This easy-to-understand breakdown helps you allocate your money wisely, ensuring you're covering your essential needs, planning for your future, and still enjoying life's little pleasures and moments. The beauty of the 70-20-10 rule lies in its simplicity and flexibility. It adapts to your unique financial situation, whether you're earning a modest income or a high salary. It helps you create a clear roadmap for your money, making it easier to track your spending, identify areas where you can cut back, and watch your savings grow steadily over time. You might have heard of the 50-30-20 budgeting rule, but the 70-20-10 rule offers a different approach providing more control and flexibility. The 50-30-20 rule allocates 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. While it's a good starting point, the 70-20-10 rule prioritizes savings and debt reduction, empowering you to build a more secure financial future. By allocating a larger portion to savings and debt repayment, the 70-20-10 rule helps you achieve your financial goals faster, whether saving for a down payment on a house, paying off student loans, or retiring comfortably. This approach ensures that you're consistently working towards your financial goals, while still allowing for enjoyment and flexibility in your spending. Let's break down each component of the 70-20-10 rule. 70% for necessities. This category covers all your essential expenses, such as rent or mortgage payments, groceries, utilities, transportation insurance, and any debt payments beyond the 20% allocated for savings and debt repayment. These are the costs that you cannot avoid and are crucial for your day-to-day -day living. Ensuring that 70% of your income goes towards these necessities helps you maintain a stable and secure lifestyle. Example, if your after-tax income is $5,000, you'll allocate $3,500 70% to necessities. This means you have a clear and structured way to manage your essential expenses without overspending. By doing this, you can avoid financial stress and ensure that your basic needs are always met. This ensures you're covering the fundamental costs of living comfortably. It allows you to focus on other financial goals without worrying about the basics. Living within this budget can also help you identify areas where you might be able to cut costs and save even more. 20% for savings and debt repayment this portion is dedicated to building your financial security. It's about preparing for the future and ensuring you have a safety net. This category includes savings for emergencies, retirement, future goals, and any extra payments towards high interest debts. By consistently saving and paying off debt, you can achieve financial freedom and reduce financial anxiety. It includes savings for emergencies, retirement, future goals, and any extra payments towards high interest debts. Having an emergency fund can protect you from unexpected expenses, while retirement savings ensure you can enjoy your later years without financial worries. Paying off high-interest debts quickly can save you money in the long run and improve your financial health. Example, with a $5,000 income, you'll set aside $1,000 20% for savings and debt repayment, helping you achieve financial stability and meet your goals faster. This disciplined approach to saving and debt repayment can lead to a more secure and prosperous future. 10% for personal spending. This category is for your wants, the things that bring you joy and enhance your life. It's important to allocate a portion of your income to activities and purchases that make you happy. This can include dining out, entertainment, hobbies, shopping, and travel. By budgeting for personal spending, you can enjoy these activities guilt-free knowing that you are not compromising your financial stability. It includes dining out, entertainment, hobbies, shopping, and travel. These are the expenses that add fun and enjoyment to your life. 
Allocating 10% of your income to personal spending ensures that you can indulge in these pleasures without feeling financially strained. Example, with $5,000 you can allocate $500 10%, to personal spending, allowing you to enjoy life's pleasures without derailing your financial progress. This balanced approach to budgeting helps you maintain a healthy relationship with money, ensuring that you can meet your needs, save for the future, and still have fun along the way. Your path to financial freedom, how the rule works. The 70-20-10 rule isn't just about budgeting, it's a pathway to financial freedom. By consistently allocating your income according to these percentages, you'll notice remarkable changes in your financial life. Your savings will grow, your debts will shrink, and you'll have a clear picture of where your money is going. Think of it like this. The 70% for necessities ensures you're living within your means, covering your basic needs without overspending. The 20% for savings and debt repayment acts as your financial safety net, preparing you for unexpected expenses and helping you achieve your financial goals faster. And the 10% for personal spending allows you to enjoy life and reward yourself without feeling guilty or jeopardizing your financial well-being. Mastering Your Money, A Step-by-Step -step Guide this guide will help you take control of your finances and build a secure future. Now that you understand the power of the 70-20-10 rule, let's dive into how to implement it in your life. This rule is a simple yet effective way to manage your money. First, calculate your after-tax income. This is the amount you take home after all deductions. Determine your net income after taxes and other deductions. This step is crucial as it gives you a clear picture of your actual earnings. This is the starting point for allocating your money. Next, track your spending. Knowing where your money goes is essential for effective budgeting. Analyze your spending habits for a month or two to understand where your money goes. This will help you identify patterns and areas where you can cut back. Categorize your expenses to identify areas for potential savings. Then set realistic limits. This step helps you prioritize your spending. Based on your income and spending patterns, set realistic spending limits for each category. This ensures you don't overspend in any area. Use budgeting apps or spreadsheets for tracking. These tools can simplify the process and help you stay organized. After that, automate your savings. Automation makes saving effortless and ensures consistency. Set up automatic transfers to your savings and debt repayment accounts. This way you prioritize saving and debt repayment without having to think about it. This ensures that you're consistently working towards your goals. Seeing your progress can be very motivating. Finally, review and adjust regularly. Your financial situation can change, and your budget should reflect those changes, life changes, and so do your finances. Regular reviews help you stay on track and make necessary adjustments. Review your budget periodically at least quarterly and make adjustments as needed to stay on track. This habit will help you maintain financial stability and achieve your long-term goals. Avoiding budgeting pitfalls with the 70-20-10 rule. This simple yet effective budgeting strategy can help you manage your finances more efficiently and avoid common mistakes that many people make. Common budgeting mistakes can derail even the most well-intentioned plans. These mistakes often lead to financial stress and can make it difficult to achieve your financial goals. Let's explore some pitfalls and how the 70-20-10 rule can help you avoid them. First, not tracking spending. Without a clear understanding of where your money is going, it's easy to lose control of your finances. One of the biggest mistakes is not tracking where your money goes. This can lead to overspending and financial shortfalls. By keeping a detailed record of your expenses, you can identify patterns and make necessary adjustments. The 70-20-10 rule encourages you to monitor your spending, making it easier to identify areas for improvement. Second, overspending on non-essentials. It's important to differentiate between needs and wants. It's easy to overspend on wants, but the 10% allocation helps you enjoy those things without jeopardizing your financial stability. By setting aside a specific portion of your budget for discretionary spending, you can indulge in small luxuries without guilt. Failing to prioritize savings can lead to financial stress. Without a savings cushion, unexpected expenses can throw your budget off track and lead to debt. The 20% allocation ensures that you're consistently building a safety net. This portion of your budget should be dedicated to savings and investments helping you prepare for the future. Fourth, lack of emergency fund. An emergency fund is crucial for handling unforeseen expenses without derailing your financial plan. Unforeseen events happen, and the 70-20-10 rule encourages you to build an emergency fund within the 20% allocated for savings. This fund acts as a financial buffer, providing peace of mind. Fifth, not reviewing the budget. 
your financial situation can change over time, and it's important to adjust your budget accordingly. Financial situations change, and the 70-20-10 rule reminds you to review and adjust your budget regularly to reflect those changes. Regular reviews help you stay on track and make informed financial decisions, ensuring long-term stability and success. Ready to transform your finances? Embrace the 70-20-10 rule. The 70-20-10 budget rule is more than just a budgeting method. It's a roadmap to financial empowerment. It's a simple yet effective way to take control of your money, achieve your financial goals, and live a life of financial freedom. Are you ready to experience the transformative power of the 70-20-10 rule? Try it for a few months and see the difference it makes in your financial life. Share your experience and let's inspire each other on this journey toward financial well-being.